with Local 12 Sports. Welcome back. Ohio State head coach Jim Trussell has never tasted back-to-back -back defeats in his three and a half seasons with the Buckeyes. And after getting upset by Northwestern last week, OSU also in danger of losing to unbeaten Wisconsin for the third straight time at the Horseshoe. Let's go to Columbus. Here's the best Buckeye attack of the game. Ted Ginn fields the first quarter punt on his own 35, finds some daylight, and he is gone. 65 yards to the end zone, OSU up 7-0. Meanwhile, Anthony Davis busts loose for 168 yards today, sprints 31 yards to the land of six, cuts the Buckeyes' lead to 10-7. Sophomore quarterback John Stocko, a steady 15 of 24 for 169 yards, lobs the fade to Darren Charles, Wisconsin 14-10. Mike Nugent's 60th career field goal sets a school record and ties his personal best, 55 yards. Badgers 14-13 at the break. Second half, the fade pattern works again for Stocko, and he finds Jonathan Orr, 10-yard strike. Buckeyes' 18-game home winning streak ends with punches because Wisconsin celebrates at midfield. Coach Tressel is dazed. OSU loses 24-13. Let's go to Oxford. Miami hosting Kent State. Josh Betts throws for 277 yards, his first of two TDs to Michael Larkin. Hawks 14-13. Kent State's Josh Cribbs. Three scoring passes in the first half. Connects with Antoine Smith. Golden flashes 2017 at the half. Second half, Betts puts the Red Hawks ahead for good with a one-yard keeper. And check out Ryan Robinson on the option play here. The scoring pass to Larkin, a 31-yard touchdown. Miami scores 30 unanswered points and wins, 47-27. How does a two and three team like UC get to be 15 and a half point favorites? Well, first you need to face a winless team like Army, a team that hasn't won in nearly two years like Army, owning the nation's longest losing streak 19 in a row. Can the Bearcats make it 20? Let's go to West Point. It's seven all in the first quarter when Army's Tyler Robinson busts in from the two and the cadets are going wild with a 13 to seven lead after one quarter. The Bearcats have problems holding onto the ball. You see with five fumbles, Derek Eddington loses the handle here, turns the ball over, and that sets up Zach Dahman's play action pass to Robinson, a two yard score as Army leads 19 to seven. Now Gino Gadulli, 25 of 39 for 350 passing yards. One of his four TD passes finds a wide open Hannibal Thomas, Army ahead 32 29 at the half. But here's the backbreaker in the third. Richard Hall stripped of the ball. Jonathan Lewis recovers in the end zone for a touchdown. Army's up 41-29. And the icing, Domin short pass to Robinson, turns into a long touchdown. 93 yards in all. Robinson's fifth score of the game. Army ends its winning drought, uh, make it its losing drought, 48-29. And tonight, Gino Gadulli calls this the most disappointing loss of his life because the Bearcats are probably the laughing stock of the nation. Let's go to Lexington, UK. Down three to Alabama here, but the Tides' Kenneth Darby rushes for 99 yards, and his first TD gives Bama a 24-14 lead. And special teams with a big lift. Anthony Madison blocks the UK punt. Josh Smith recovers. That sets up Darby's second scoring run. Nine yards, Alabama in command, 31-14. And this punt return by Tyrone Prothrow in the fourth quarter. Oh, it's a beauty. Down the sidelines, no one lays a hand on him. 100 yards in all. Alabama outscores UK 28-3 in the second half and goes on to win 45.